Hello and welcome back to Seahawks Central Sports. While we were away on spring break, Seahawk athletics kept busy. This week we'll be talking about softball, track and field, and beach volleyball. But first, let's head over to Grace with our baseball update. Thank you, Sarah. The men's baseball team has had a quiet break, but it was successful. Sophomore Tanner Thatch has been all the talk recently. Thatch has been a great player over the last week. On March 8th, he had two home runs to beat St. Joseph's for a win of 6-5. to five. Again on the 9th, Thatch had an impeccable game to beat St. Joseph's again with a score of 3-2. to two. Let's wish the team good luck as they head to Charlotte this weekend to play the 49ers the 15th, 16th, and 17th, and then again on Tuesday, March 19th to play the Tar Heels. Good luck, boys. Now let's head over to Samaj with softball. Thanks, Grace. The softball team had a jam-packed break, starting at UNC Charlotte for a tournament on March the 2nd, and ending break with a doubleheader at Hampton on March 10th. To start the tournament, UNCW beat Fordham 2-0, with Emily Winstead's eight strikeouts contributing to the shutout victory. UNCW leaves the tournament on the receiving end of two losses, falling short against Kentucky, losing 1-8, and UNC Charlotte 1-2. On March the 3rd, returning home, UNCW faced Coastal Carolina, taking a 0-7 shutout loss on March 6th. The Seahawks did not let their three-game losing streak phase them when they arrived to play against Hampton. UNCW goes in a three-game winning streak, beating Hampton 9-1 on March 8th and on March 10th, playing a doubleheader, winning 5-0 in the first and 5-0 in the second to end spring break on a good note. Keep supporting our UNCW softball team, and now I'll send it over to Taylor with track and field. Thanks, Samaj. Over the break, our men's and women's track and field teams kicked off their outdoor season at the UNCW Seahawk Invitational Meet on March 1st and 2nd. There were an impressive 20 first place finishes for our Seahawks this past weekend. To name a few, our very own Jordan Robbins and Miles Higgins both won the javelin throw. Ch Chandler Coughlin and Owen Marsh placed first in the 1500 meters, and Courtney Lyons won the long jump for our women's team and Bryson Robinson for our men's team. Make sure to cheer on our Seahawks as they travel to the Elon Phoenix Invitational on Friday, March 25th. Go Hawks! Now on to Chase with beach volleyball. Thanks, Taylor. Our UNCW beach volleyball team has been on a tear since their first initial wins against the College of Charleston going 5-0 in their season debut at our recently opened new UNCW Sport Shoreline Sports Complex. The Seahawks since then have won seven out of their last nine matchups. On March 2nd, the Seahawks went undefeated with two victories over CAA rivals the College of Charleston 4-1 and Coastal Carolina 3-2. The following day on March 3rd, Seahawks went 1-1 with a loss, 1-4 to South Carolina, but bounced back with a 5-0 sweep victory over Chattanooga. The Seahawks this past weekend went 4-1 in victories over competition, starting out with a 2-0 sweep on March 8th against Cal State Northridge and 5-0 and CSU Bakersfield 3-2. Then on the subsequent day of March 9th, the Seahawks went 2-1 against competition with a 5-0 victory against Sacramento State, a 2-3 loss to Cal State Northridge, and ending with a 4-1 victory against CSU Bakersfield. The Seahawks have a busy schedule approaching with matches on March 16th against Stetson in North Alabama and the 17th against Charleston and Jacksonville. Now back to Sarah. Thanks, Chase. Well, that's all we've got for you this time. Be sure to tune in next week to catch up on all things UNCW sports. Go!